What's an HSM for? So the idea of an HSM is that it's a root of trust. It's the most trusted part of your infrastructure. It should be really highly examined and certified and checked and made sure that it's secure. And then you can put your keys inside it. And that way, if your application is ever compromised, you might lose the data that was being processed in the application at the time, but you won't lose the cryptographic key that could be used to cause real harm to your company. So decrypt in bulk all of the information in your database or maybe do some fraudulent transactions on your payment system or something like that. So they are all about controlling cryptography and limiting risk. So there are essentially two kinds of HSM in use. One is general purpose HSM. These typically have a PKCS11 interface. And the other is a special set of HSMs that do financial transactions. So every time you type in your PIN at an ATM, it's being verified inside an HSM somewhere that that's really the correct code for your bank account. And these have a different set of interfaces that are mostly based on de facto standards that have come out of major manufacturers in the past. And they are pretty separate from the PKCS11 world, usually managed apart and following separate protocols and procedures that are necessary for that part of the industry. Up until recently, people bought HSMs in boxes, so they're physical pieces of hardware. You buy them from a vendor, then you have to pay a maintenance fee to keep them going, and you have to uh, go and install the firmware modules yourself most uh, often uh, in your data center. So they're quite costly things to buy and maintain. So for that reason, as people migrate more of their computing workloads to the cloud, a lot of vendors are offering cloud-based HSM solutions. So the idea is that you, instead of buying a box, you rent the HSM functionality that you need from a provider that might be your cloud provider, or it might be a third party who can put a box in a data center next to your cloud provider, and they'll rent you the HSM. But these services are very different. So sometimes you rent just a bit of space on a shared HSM. Sometimes you rent a virtual HSM inside a physical HSM. Sometimes you really rent that physical box, and you might even have the right to go and physically visit it if you want, and poke it and check that it's really there and running the firmware that you think it's running. And what solution you go for will depend a lot on the regulations, the compliance regimes, and the risk posture of your organization. We have a white paper on cloud crypto solutions that explains the differences between them and can help you make up your mind what kind of solution you need.